what we're going to see here, uh, the, the swing on the right, he didn't hit the ball very well. Felt a little off. Swing on the left, he didn't hit it as good as he could, but he hit it much, much better. Uh, a lot of similarities here, but the main thing we're going to notice is the difference in the lower body action on the better swing on the left. As we take the club back, it looks very similar. Uh, we're seeing a little bit better lower body resistance here. If you look closely, you can see that there's a, a bit of a tipping over on the right side where the left side uh, is staying uh, solidly on the yellow line. The yellow line is the power line. That's the line we're trying to get our right hip to um, on our downswing, on our forward swing. Uh, so as he gets up here, he's, he's definitely created a lot more torque with his lower body. And what's going to happen is you're going to see an explosion of power that he doesn't get on the, on the right side. Now these started out exactly the same. You can see the explosion coming in on the on the left side. Look at the action of the lower body. Look at the opening of the hips. On the right side, the hips are still square to the target. Now he's opened the hips quite a bit here, uh, getting great extension. Uh, the other club hasn't caught up with it yet. Now you can see more extension on the left. Finally, the right side is catching up, but you can see the hips aren't open. He's not turning his belt buckle to the target as much. You can see the extension down the line here on the left, not on the right so much. Look at that extension. Look at the rotation of the right knee up to the left knee. Not getting there yet on the right side. And on through the finish. And you can see where there's an entirely different look. Now he is moving his head too far forward on the finish. I'd like to see his head back on that yellow line on both sides. But we do see a lot better lower body action on the one on the left.